The End of Art by Theo van Doesburg One cannot renew art. Art is an invention of the Renaissance which has today refined itself to the utmost degree possible. An enormous concentration was needed to make good works of art. One could only develop this concentration by neglecting life, as in religion, or to lose life entirely. That is today impossible, for we are only interested in life. The whole life of today is in contradiction to the religious and aesthetic concentration of the past. It is quite out of fashion to devote ourselves only to one thing. New life is based upon construction, that is to say, the distribution of strain, the neutralization of pull and pressure. We too distribute our forces upon all of life. That is real progress. This progress negates exclusive concentration. It can only give instantaneous snapshots of life. That is the first reason why art is impossible. Second reason, just as scientific progress, for instance, was suppressed in the Middle Ages by religion and its official today through art, instead of religion we have art. Therewith is all of life poisoned. Aestheticism has infected and diseased us all. Yes, us. One cannot... One cannot touch an article which isn't filthy if one wants to put a pall upon the ground. Immediately the high priest of art comes to us and says, that disturbs the harmony of the street or the harmony of the city or landscape. If one wants to put a typewriter or sewing machine into the room, then one hears directly from the landlady who insists that one take this thing away it disturbs the harmony of the room. Postcards, stamps, pipe tobacco, tickets, pot de nuit, umbrella, towel, pajamas, chairs, bed covers, handkerchief, lamps, stoves, necktie, everything is arty. Let us repress ourselves with things that are not art. The bathroom, the water closet, the bathtub, the telescope, the bicycle, the auto, the subways, the flat iron. There are many people who know how to make such good, unartistic things, but they are hindered, and their movements are dictated by the priest of art, art whose function nobody knows hinders the function of life. For the sake of, for the sake of progress, we must destroy art, because the function of modern life is stronger than art. Every attempt to renew art, futurism, cubism, expressionism failed. They are all bankrupt. Let us not waste our time with them. Let us rather create a new life form which is adequate to the functioning of modern life.